tonight's nominees are Mayor Derek Armstead. His efforts to successfully promote commercial investment investments, bringing large new businesses to Linden, and for giving businesses and residents alike a tax reduction this year. Mayor of South Bonacorso Clark. Mayor Christine Dancero of Roselle. Yeah. For her work to improve the business climate in Roselle. And Mayor Adrian Carl Hoxon of Roselle Park for rolling up his sleeves and literally getting him dirty to the winner smart. is. Mayor Derek Armstrong. At least we got a free prime rib. September of last year, we broke ground on a $34 million project. 213 units, two buildings, one restaurant. The night that we did the groundbreaking, I called it my field of dreams. If you build it, they will come. If you build it, they will come. Well, lo and behold, they are coming. If you drive through the center of my town, the old Sullivan property has been an eyesore for eight years. It's going to be taken care of next week when mayor and council sits with down with the developer 285 apartments six stores and a parking deck the one thing i've learned talking to these developers and talking to the other towns is a phrase that i love is walking wallets we all know that we need the infrastructure and the development to support the other businesses in our town if you build it they will come and they are coming we have another development on Hawthorne Street for 16 years and sat there. It was a crumbling concrete building. It's coming down, 12 townhouses are going up. If you're familiar with Roseau Park on the corner of Faith Tudor Avenue and Clay Avenue, Mimi's Pizzeria. Great pizza, great Italian ice, coming down. Big development, two stores, 12 condoms. If you remember back in the old days of 2004, we got hit with the Dover's Remedy lawsuit at the Avalon Bay from Roski fiasco. Well, guess who's back at the table? 269 units, two stores. If you build it, they will come. It's getting to the point next week, I'm sitting with the developer and the contractors. We're turning in Brian's property into a transit village. We have so much development and re coming in. We have to, our old construction official, our old construction official was there for two days a week, six hours. We now hired a full-timer, 29 hours a week, five days. We also are inspectors to meet the demand of the redevelopment process. We now hire, they were there two days a week for four hours. We now have them there five days a week for 10 hours to meet the demand for the inspections, not only for the redevelopers, but for the homeowners of Roselle Park. We also instituted a program, $20,000 rebate for the first five years, no taxes. We are looking into it for the businesses that when they want to start redeveloping. We've gotten to the point, we just went out and spent almost three quarters of a million dollars on new equipment for our DPW yard. We went out and bought a $245,000 truck to do the covering of all sewer lines. We're gonna do it once. When our street's gonna get repaid, we look at the streets, we, get, we, we, we do the sewer lines, make sure they're okay, because I'm not gonna spend money twice. We went out and bought a brand new sweeper to keep the streets clean. 
a back, new backhoe to keep that going, that we can start doing our own work instead of going out for contractors. Our school system. Last year we came out number one in robotics. Roselle Park High School for a small town. Our high school only has 533 kids. Came out 44th in the world. In the world. Our high school wrestling team set history. It was the fourth team in the country. There was another team, Midwest, California, Paulsboro was the first team in the state of Jersey. Roselle Park was the second team, the fourth team in the country to win 1,000 dual wrestling matches. Our school system is phenomenal. We go out, our real estate, the average homeowner in Roselle Park for sale is at, in around 40 to 45 days sale. And within the last six months, real estate properties have gone up over 15,000. They're getting 92% of the asking price. We're in negotiations with the state to redo the train station to make that handicap accessible. Because we all know the one seat ride is very important to everybody that belongs along the, the rail line. If you build it, they will come. And they are coming to the borough of Roselle Park. The foot traffic, hopefully, will get there to the fact that they will go out and go and help the surrounding towns to support their businesses. Thank you.